Hey Aries, this is Ascension Empress with your May mid-month reading, your general love, career, whatever pops up, yeah. <laughs> we gonna see what messages we have for y'all. Thank you again so much for the 10K subscribers, 11K, and we are on our way to 12, 15, 20, 100,000, a million, like they said a million. I'm like, why not? You're right. Why not? Okay. So thank you all again Ooh, for your love and your support. Wow okay <laughs> and um may peace and blessings be upon everyone please like share and subscribe i am open for personals please email me and yeah we're gonna get into it you know when i was pre-meditating on y'all reading the queen of wands popped out immediately so i do get that y'all are not wasting any time in taking action but also you do have your guards up you are aware of what you will not be investing in, what you won't be spending your money on as well with the Four of Pentacles, okay? Somebody may be blocked, okay? We're going to see. Or there may be a blockage, an energy blockage. blockage. Let's see, what messages do we have going into the past for my Aries? Ooh, look at that. Look at that, y'all. The Hierophant. The Hierophant, the Chariot, and the Eight of Cups. That's been a theme throughout all of the readings and you know with the full moon and scorpio that's just happened okay and we're in this Taurus season going into gemini season i feel like you know with this retrograde that we're coming into many people are kind of holding back okay some people are holding back their energy okay especially when it comes to commitments commitments were definitely um on the forefront for a while i'm getting values people's integrities let's see what messages do we have going forward look at that there you are what did i say she didn't waste much time this time either got the queen of wands here okay so going forward i feel like y'all are going to make a very bold decision somebody you know they're probably gonna be looking at you like whoa you have the audacity okay but very inspirational because there's someone it could be you or it could be somebody else who's in this present moment, holding back, um, may, I'm also getting a little timid. They are reserved, um, hesitant as well. But there is going to be a shift, especially if this is the same person with the Queen of Wands. There's going to be a shift in energy. Okay, I'm also getting Leo season. Leo season has also been a theme. The Strength card hasn't been popping up much, but I have been getting the Sun card. I've been getting the Eight of Cups energy um, in the Leo energy's been popping up in, in the moonology so let's see what messages do we have underlying the reading for my aries wow as soon as i said that y'all the strength card as soon as i said that and then you got a lot of drama going on okay yeah i feel like y'all are gonna stay focused please stay focused okay because y'all fruit is about to come yeah okay y'all are this this not nothing to do with you it shouldn't have nothing to do with you okay aries you got the nine of cups here in the five of cups. I was going to say the five of cups. So, yeah, there could be somebody who is overindulging and it's going to lead to an altercation or some type of argument, some type of intense uh, debate as well. A lot of passion. Again, that Aries energy. Um, but I'm also getting there is going to be regret over that because I said the five of cups. Okay. I'm just not noticing how much black they're wearing in this five of wands energy interesting and then a lot of cars popped out here it's a lot going on yeah yeah this could be within a home as well look at that you know what you know what it's a reason well what is this like eight cards nine cards okay yeah y'all are definitely coming in to this completion okay i feel like y'all are elsewhere in your head you are just in a whole nother world okay whatever you may feel alone in a room full of people, maybe around certain family, okay? Somebody may be missing their family. Someone's receiving some type of dream. Be mindful of getting your rest, okay? But look, y'all, there go that Five of Cups and the Strength card, like we mentioned. And then you have this Page of Swords energy, which I really don't care for, okay? Um, but then as soon as I looked into their eyes, which I rarely do, they actually kind of look concerned. They look like they're being nosy, but they look concerned. Okay, so this may kind of just be, you know, I feel like somebody's like in this disappointment. So there's something going on with a commitment because someone didn't have self-control. Okay, I feel like there was a lack of integrity. Breaking the rules. Okay, some contract. Something, yeah. 
there was deceit around the strength of a con of a connection okay because there's disappointment and regret here but somebody may be seeing something seeing you or someone in this in this regret wanting to oh yeah offer you this cup okay there may be a message coming in but someone also just doesn't want to be bothered yeah i'm just not noticing you got the page of cups here and the page of swords and this could be children i get that somebody just really wants some space just to be and to at least you know feel because there's a lot going on but i feel like you know there may be a lot of external energy someone just doesn't have the space or the privacy that's what that four of pentacles is here for okay so let's see clarify this hierophant in this yeah the strength in the seven of swords what do we need to know about this energy going into the past look at that okay you got the page of pentacles much like i believe capricorn's energy you know, looking at things from a different perspective and coming across some information or you taking, I'm, I'm getting, you know, starting from square one. Look at that. You got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot coming at you. I feel like there's a lot of information. There's just a lot going on around you, which makes sense with the Five of Wands. So what would you like? My, ooh, I was going to say Virgo. Oh, yeah, please don't be in your head. Please don't overthink this. Okay, wow. As soon as I said it, I was going to say Virgo, y'all. The Hermit card. Okay, and you have the Knight of Cups here. You got the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Swords <laughs> with the Hermit. Y'all really just want some space is what I'm getting. You, My mom has Virgo energy, and definitely she would be in the energy of me time. She wants some me time. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Y'all. I said, please don't be in your head. Don't end up in your head. As soon as I thought Virgo and then the Hermit card came out. And then you have this Eight of Swords. Okay. So, oh, we're going to pull some advice. And where's the Divine Feminine? <laughs> Look now. Okay. Everything isn't clear. And you may be feeling like that you just need the time to separate. Whether it's from people. I'm getting from people. From people. What would you like my Aries to be aware of? Y'all. I know that's right. When I tell you, this has been one of the cards that's been popping out with the chariot and the hierophant. Look, I said you need time to detach, to wrap up some cycles within yourself. I'm, I'm getting to do some healing. You ready to move forward? Wow. You hear that? Now they honking. It's literally like I, I feel like y'all are being stretched in every way. Somebody is like somebody constantly wants something from you. And this Eight of Cups is saying, I have nothing more to give. The only thing I have to give is what's going I'm pouring into me. Okay? Ready to chase your dreams as well as what I'm getting? Let's pull an analogy. Let's see. What advice do you have for my Aries? What advice do you have for my Aries? Mm. Y'all, today. Hello, new moon in Taurus. Today. So that's y'all message. Set the intention. Be clear on what doesn't serve you. What is fulfilling on in a healthy way, okay? In an uplifting way. Because the plant the seeds are being planted, y'all. The plans are being made. Prosperity lies ahead. Not this lack state of mind, you know, the possibilities of where you can go. Yeah, I feel like many of y'all really just I'm getting window seat by Erica Badu. Can you get a window seat? Okay, what's the overall message? Overall message for my Aries. That's a lie. And then you look, see? The Emperor and the Magician. <laughs> Y'all. Yes, and I see, you know what? You know what? Look at that. I mean, it speaks for itself. The right people, the right counterpart, 
they're near. As soon as you cut the distractions, as soon as you get clear, as soon as you stop the ne the negative self-talk, okay? And I'm also getting because of some type of commitments or contracts or whatever, there was a connection. There was some some commitment in the past. There is this new independence here for you, okay? Um, Y'all, if you're not tapped in, I need you to tap in. You have the Empress and the Emperor here with the Five of Swords. Self-preservation is key. A healthy sense of power. The Divine Feminine and Masculine Energy. This awareness. Yes. There is a union coming here. That's probably what all this drama is. People, a lot of people, you know, are wolves and sheep's clothing, clothing with this eight of swords here. But I'm seeing the real deal. I'm seeing nothing but the real deal right here, okay? So let's see. What is the overall message we have for my Aries? What is the overall message? Also here, you clean up nice. Wow, you have three cards here. Empress Energy again. Queen of the Wilderness. The language of the natural world is a frequency of love. This is my mother tongue. Okay, again, Empress Energy. Ooh. The Pontiff of Possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Yeah. So as soon as y'all tap into this Eight of Cups Energy... And I'm getting you detached from this, there's this ego around you. Maybe this five of wands that you're surrounded by. You, you probably feel out of this world is what I'm getting with the page of cups, okay? And then you have, okay, segment, the red lady. I am pure strength, okay? And we saw the strength card that came out. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Like I said, y'all know how to balance this emperor, empress energy. I'm hearing one in the same. I'm so excited for y'all. So let me know how this resonates with you. Thank you again so much for your support, your love. If you like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. Take care, you all. Bye.